Hello everyone. Today we will be studying the 19th chap chapter of class 5 social studies. The chapter's name is India's democratic government. First question. Who chooses the government in a democracy? Answer. People choose the government in a democracy. Next question. How must a democratic government govern? Answer. A democratic government must govern according to a constitution for the good of people. Next question. What type of state is India according to the preamble to the constitution? Answer. Preamble to the Constitution states that India is a democracy. Next question. What are the features of democratic government? Answer. Democracy is a form of government in which a constitution guarantees fundamental rights to all the people. Second point. There are fair and free elections and courts where people can go if there is any disagreement in democracy. Next question. What are the two different meanings of state? Answer. The word state has several meanings. India has 28 states. This is one meaning. State also means a country that is controlled by one government. Next question. How is power divided according to the constitution between different branches? Answer. The constitution has divided powers between three different branches. So the power of Indian state is divided between the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. What is the role of legislator? Answer. Legislature makes the laws. These laws have to be fair and should follow directive principles of state policy. Next question. What is the role of the executive? Answer. The executive makes sure that the law are properly followed it makes policies which follows directive principles. Next question. What is the function of judiciary? The judiciary are the courts. They make sure that the laws are properly understood. They also use the law to decide any disputes for settlement. Next question. What are checks and balances? Answer. The Indian system is designed in such a way that the three branches of the Indian state, that is, the legislature, the executive and the judiciary, and also the Indian people can act as check on each other. This makes sure that the power is not misused. This is called a system of checks and balances. And this is very important part of democracy. As otherwise, the power can be misused. Next question. Where are the offices of the union government situated? Answer. India's central government or union government has its offices at New Delhi. Next question. What do you mean by a federal structure of government? Answer. Federal structure of government means a system of government in which the states in a country look after their own affairs, but a central government also looks after some things. Next question. Who is the head of the country? Answer. The president of India or the Rashtrapati is the head of the country. Next question. Who is the head of a state? Answer. The governor or Rajipal is the head of a state. Next question. Where is the residence of the president of India? Answer. 
Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi is the residence of the President of India. Next question, where is the legislature present? In the center or in the states? Answer, there are legislatures at center and in states also. Next question. What is the central legislature called? Answer, the central legislature is called Sansad or the parliament. Next question, how many houses are there in the parliament or Sansad? Answer, there are two houses in the parliament or Sansad named Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Next question, where are the members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha elected from? Answer, members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha are elected from every part of the country. Next question. What are the members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha known as? Answer. The members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha are called members of parliament or MPs. Next question. How many houses are there in state legislatures? Answer, in most states, there are only one house called the Legislative Assembly or the Vidhan Sabha. But seven states have a second house called the Vidhan Parishad or the Legislative Council. Next question, where are the members of the Vidhan Sabha or Vidhan Parishad elected from? Answer, members of Vidhan Sabha or Vidhan Parishad are electorate from all over the state. Next question. What are the members of Vidhan Sabha or Vidhan Parishad called? Answer. The members of Vidhan Sabha or Vidhan Parishad are called the MLAs or members of the Legislative Assembly. Next question. What are the important powers of the parliament? Answer. The important pa powers of the parliament are they make laws for the whole country. Second, keep a check on how the executive branch of the state functions. Third point, control how the executive branch will get and spend money. This executive branch presents a budget every year in the parliament and then the Lok Sabha discusses it and agrees to it through a vote. What are the powers of the state legislatures? Answer is similar to those of the powers of the parliament. Let's see what. The powers of the state legislatures are number one, they make laws for the states. Number two, they keep a check on the functioning of the executive branch. Number three, they approve the state budget which the executive branch presents to the Vidhan Sabha after a voting. Legislators of different countries are known by different names. Let us look at the various names in different countries. The legislature of UK is known as Parliament. The legislature of USA is called the Congress. The legislature of Bangladesh is called Jatiyo Shongshad. The legislature of Japan is known as Diet. The legislature of France is known as Le Parliament. And the legislature of Maldives is known as Majlis. Next question, where did the Constituent Assembly meet? Answer, the Constituent Assembly met in Sansad Bhavan or the Parliament House. Next question, which branch is known as the government? Answer, the executive branch at the center or at the states is referred to as the government. 
Next question, who forms the government or which party forms the government? Answer, the party that has the largest number of MPs or MLAs forms the government. Earlier we have read that the president is the head of the country and the governor is the head of the state. But the actual power is with the government. That means the head of the government at the state is, sorry, the head of the government at the center is prime minister and in the states is chief minister. Next question, name two former prime ministers of India. Answer. Two former Prime Ministers of India are Jawaharlal Nehru and Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Next question. Who chooses the Council of Ministers? Answer. The Council of Ministers are chosen by the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister. Next question. What are the important functions of the executive branch at the center and the state? Answer. The executive branch at the center and in the states have important functions like First one, the ministers make sure that the policies of their government are carried out. Next question. Government plans and presents laws for discussion and approval. Next answer. Government also prepares the budget and decides the taxes that people have to pay. These are the three functions that the executive branches at center and the state do. Now the executive and the legislature are not a unified system, but But the judiciary of the entire country is one system, one unified system. This is the pyramid shaped structure of Indian judiciary. There are several hundreds of district courts and there are 24 high courts and there is only one Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court is the highest court and is located in New Delhi. Who is the head? of the Supreme Court? Answer is the head of the Supreme Court is the Chief Justice of India. Next question. How many High Courts are there in India? Answer. There are 24 High Courts in India. Next question. Who is the head of the High Courts? Answer. The head of the High Court is Chief Justice. Next question, how many district courts are there in India? Answer, there are several hundred district courts in India. Next question, what are the responsibilities of judiciary? Answer, the responsibilities of the judiciary are, number one, to protect the rights and freedoms of Indians. Number two, to explain the meaning of constitution when it is not clear. Number three, to deliver justice or to make sure that the people get fair treatment. Number four, to settle disputes according to law. Next question, who explains how power should be distributed between the union government and the state government? Answer. The constitution explains how power should be shared between the union and the governments, state governments. Next, what are the three lists in a federal structure according to which the power is shared between the state and the Union government. Answer. In a federal structure, the power is shared according to the constitution on the basis of three lists. First list is the union list, the state list and the concurrent list. 
union list as it suggests is the responsibilities of the union government or the central government what are the subjects in union list answer the subjects of union list are the railways the defense of india and the foreign affairs next what does the state list consist answer state list consists the responsibilities of the state for example the police the law and order within the state and the transport and roads within the state are the subjects stated in state list what is a concurrent list answer a concurrent list is a list that contains the responsibilities that are shared by state and the union government like education electricity or forest and wildlife next question how are union territories governed answer the union territories are governed directly by union government in the name of the president of india through an administrator next question name three union territories which have their legislatures answer three union territories like jammu and kashmir puducherry and national capital territory of delhi have legislatures important points to remember the power of indian state are divided between the legislature the executive and the judiciary next a, a system of checks and balances ensures that democracy functions smoothly next point india has a federal structure where power is shared by the union or the central government and state government next point the judiciary was is one unified system throughout the country next the power is divided between the center and the state according to three list which we have already read which are the three list union list state list and concurrent list next question who is a administrator answer a person who manages a company or an institution is called an administrator with this we come to the end of this chapter prepare well for your exams we will meet in the next video till then take care bye bye and happy exams